Now, when Winky pivot to what, what, you know, the reason for the call is she just like, okay, you know, Mrs. Jones, uh, you know, tell me about what's going on or, you know, what, what do you like? I just kind of, kind of like what you said it, uh, what do you got? What kind of issues you having? Uh, what do you got going on? What do you got for me to work on today? And right. And they usually take you to there and then I, oh, okay. Yeah. You need this, uh, silly fan replaced. Um, uh, where's your breaker pan? Like, I don't know. Look at that real quick. Before before you go, you know, you go to the ceiling fan, the breaker back. Do you talk about yourself or the company at all, or you kind of wait for that later on, like as you show options to kind of add that credibility? Personally, I do that when I am Kevin from Ansel Holes Electric. Probably yeah. the um, electrician with the day. Okay. Um, and then the whole credibility thing, I kind of do that after they show me the panel and then where I'm at. And then I kind of ask them, you know, hey, is there anything else going on in your house? Any contractors been in there working you know stuff like that kind of making small talk asking questions i'm got, trying to get down to the mentally to the root of their problem sure for sure getting into any price oh yeah Doing anything like that yeah. boy right yeah all right so i'll see like fan call a good example because uh, you know like i go to the little breaker do you ever get any pushback why do you even go to the breaker panel but they're like they're you know how, how do you hear that happens all the time so I just kind of say, hey, so I need to turn power up. You know, we should turn power up to that circuit anytime we work on it because you never want, they don't want anyone getting shocked or getting curved. Right. Right. Anything like that. Okay. Now, do you prefer them to go with you or you just kind of let it roll and see what they do? I, I kind of prefer them to go with me. I yeah. Fight them if I'm with. So, yeah, yeah. That way, then, if there's anything to see along the way, you kind of say, hey, you're pointing it out about that. This. Yeah. Because, you know, you don't want to, come to them with all these problems and like, hey, whoa, right. I didn't want you to do any of that. Right, right, right. Okay. And kind of make it, you know, let it be their idea a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's say in this case, you go to the panel and it's like, it's bad. It's old. It's maybe original to a really old house. How do you, what, what do you kind of say to the, oh, usually if it's an old panel and they open it up, I go, oh. <laughs> Not on purpose. It's just like a natural like reaction though, but yeah. More or less. You know, it I don't even mean to do it. It's just you just like, oh right. Yeah, what do you, that's an old one. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you say then to the homeowner about because you know it's like you know, they probably have all these electronics now and it's all plugged into this undersized panel. So you know, you get you don't want to start hard selling them on a panel when you got their call for a ceiling fan. So how do you handle that situation? Well, I always tell them, you know. Yeah, you really, you know, you want to take care of your ceiling fan. You want that ceiling fan, but you got to take care of the heartbeat of your uh, electrical system. That's your panel. I mean, without that, you're not going to have all this. Right, right. So we go, Miss Jones, have you, mean, have you thought about, you know, updating this? This panel's 30 years old. You know, you know, you really need to start thinking about maybe saving some money aside and get this panel replaced. I don't say you need to replace it. Yeah. I just kind of like let it, the option be with them. Okay. And that way then they're not feeling enticed to, have to do something. Right. Do you get any in the safety? I mean, with something that old, either. Yeah. You know, I write it in their, you know, life's fan panel. The, okay. I'll date it. Okay. So, all right. So, you know, you go there, you turn the breaker off, you know, obviously the inspection is a big part. I'm sure you, you, you do it. Yeah, doing it. Is it on paper? Or do you like doing it? I, I, I kind of do my inspection all kind of kind of do the job that they want me to do really for okay good that's what i wanted to get i get to uh so real quick let's do that one ceiling fan and you get we give them options on the ceiling fan by the way or you just price it and i'll try to just yeah options so you get the ceiling fan option and then i'll give them like an option for like ceiling fan and a dimmer okay light fans beat control yeah. found ball or something something simple maybe it's cert packer yeah and then while they're working because you're going to get them a sign on that job right and then while they're working and I'm doing my safety nodes. Very good. Then I present them with the options. Of, hey, these are all the safety issues that we need to get addressed at your house in this order. Yeah. You know, okay. And then I let them kind of decide and attack. Well, if they want to do any more than just feeling bad. 